the Intel press conference. And uh, so Intel has been uh, pushing the Ultrabook for the last few months. Right, that's right. So uh, how's the performance? Is it the maximum Intel performance in an Ultrabook? It is an uncompromised performance uh, because of the Intel Turbo Boost technology. Whenever an application requires a performance, the CPU automatically boosts the frequency of the processor until the task is done. When the task is done, it automatically goes down to a lower level. So you call it the Core i second generation, or what do you call it? Uh... Both our first generation core processors as well as the second generation core processors have this capability. The second generation core processor actually has a lot more finer granularity, and so it gives a lot more flexibility in terms of different applications. So. Uh... When you have the second generation Core i, let's say 7, in the Ultrabook, uh, is that the maximum Core i7 or you can have even bigger that cannot fit inside an Ultrabook? You can have you have faster versions as well that don't fit in Ultrabook? Uh, yes, so we are not uh, we are not taking away the uh, those usages that require continuous fast performance, you know, CAD applications, a lot of games that, you know, if you run for two hours, three hours, those types of applications require performance for longer period, long, long period of time. And for that, we have standard gold, uh, standard gold uh, CPU parts that run at a very high frequency all the time. Uh, they also have turbo boost, so you know we don't we don't take away that turbo boost uh, functionality in, in those parts. So it doesn't mean that every new motherboard needs to be like an ultra boost. Like uh, if you may, if if you want to build a super powerful desktop you'll still use a different configuration somehow. Absolutely, so we, we have products to cater to every imaginable application that the users may want. And how low power can you go? So what did you announce? With Ultrabook processors, um, the processor's thermal design power point is at 17 watt. Uh, it used to be that the standard volt parts used to be at a 25, 35, 45, 55 watt parts in the mobile processor. Uh, with the Ultrabook, it is at 17 watt. But if you don't move the mouse and nothing happens on the screen, could you turn off the processor or not yet? There are several power uh, saving techniques that are already implemented uh, we've been doing this for last 15 20 years so for uh, in inactive usage of the computer uh, beyond just operating at 17 watt um, there are several things that happen inside the CPU and uh, you know lot different parts of the CPU get turned off automatically um, and the CPU operates at even even lower than a 17 watt how low cost can it be is it a very big profit margin industry or is it possible that the price will go down below $500 or well we are expecting you know we're driving uh, we want to make sure that the Ultrabooks are available to um, as many people in the world as possible. So we are working with the ecosystem to make sure that it is at a mainstream price point.